hey guys welcome back to another vlog um this is my first time actually speaking i got a little footage and did kind of like a montage um so yeah i'm just coming on to talk to you guys say hey what's up um i'm actually headed to the store right now i'm going grocery shopping for my grandmother and my uncle they live together so i'm just gonna do their grocery shopping today um for them and then i just needed to get like some milk for brooke and then i need to uh maybe get like a rotisserie chicken i wanted to get because i figured it would be good for like um like eating but also um, I can make like chicken salad with it um, just kind of have like a quick uh, meal because during the week I really need like quick meals well me like in my family too we need like quick meals because you know you guys know I work um, like a second shift so I'm working basically at dinner time so i don't really have a lot of time to like be in the kitchen cooking meals um you know i typically have to kind of either cook before i start or just have something on hand that's really easy to put together so yeah rotisserie chicken will be good and easy um and then once i get paid i'll go to trader joe's and get some of their like frozen meals um which that'll probably be in this vlog honestly i think instead of this being like a weekly vlog it'll probably just be an end of may vlog and i'll just kind of compile the stuff that i'm doing for basically like the next two and a half weeks or so um because yeah next weekend is what the last no next weekend will be like memorial day weekend and then after that i think would be june so yeah it just makes sense to just compile all of this into one vlog and it'll go up basically i believe in like june um like the first sunday in june is when you guys should be seeing this so yeah guys that is what's going on just about to run to the store and get some groceries um once i'm done with that i'm gonna go back home and i need to do brooke's hair because i washed it last night um and then i think i'm gonna take her to the park so that she can kind of burn off a little energy it is like it's you know it's not too chilly but it's also not super warm it's a decent day it's sunny i feel like most days are cloudy and rainy yesterday was so gloomy oh crap the whole day was cloudy gloomy rainy so yeah if it's a pretty day outside even if it is a little chilly i'm throwing on a jacket and we're gonna go outside and you know see the outside so that is what i'm gonna do i'm going to do that she'll probably go down for her nap in a little bit anyways she's at home like with my my sister so yeah she'll probably go down for a nap and that'll give me time to like do the shopping and stuff then once she wakes up i'll just style her hair i'll probably put her two strand twist back in honestly i hope you guys can hear me because i have the windows rolled down um but i'll see when i look back at the footage how the audio is that's all that i have um no point in me continuing to blab Ooh, let me slow down so i don't get a ticket because the city of chicago no they are notorious for writing some tickets
today is actually Monday. Brooke had a doctor's appointment this morning, like her checkup. And hold on. Okay, so Brooke had a doctor's appointment today. Today is Monday, actually. It's a different day. Um, so yeah, I'm here and her doctor needed her to get like an x-ray. Uh, so because she was born breech, she like, I don't know, something about breech birth and like their hips. So like she has to get the x-ray so they can basically check and make sure that her hips are normal. She already had an ultrasound done when she was like first born, but they say you have to get the x-ray too. So I'm getting it and basically I'm lost. Well, I was lost, I didn't know where I was going because this is a different hospital than the one I go to for myself and the one that she was like born at. So yeah, basically just wanted to say I hate being lost and confused. You just be looking goofy. chicken nuggets Brucky Bruck I'm thinking Wendy's because Wendy's got really good salads and chicken nuggets but if we go to it's only one Wendy's that I know of like in my area because we're not going to pass one what I need is some coffee Hi, can I just get a medium cold brew? Just plain. No cold foam? No cold foam. Anything else? That's all. Thank you. Thank you. You too. <laughs> You're gonna have a good day you enjoy too. your meal. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get in the house and get our food. Sparky. Look. Bubbles. Woo! Bubbles. Bubbles. Over here. They're over here. We gotta catch the bubbles. Gotta catch them. Look. Woo! Whoa!
ice cream off your menu you all don't ever have it your machines are always broken just remove it from the menu that makes sense right like if you consistently don't have something why is it still showing on your menu McDonald's I get in the drive-thru and of course it's one of those drive-thrus where they hold you hostage and you can't you can't go nowhere 
and I was about to just be like, I'm sure their ice cream machine ain't working and back up and go the other way. But this woman got out of her spot. She was parked in the spot. She got out of the spot and came in the drive through behind me. So I was stuck. So then I try to come to Baskin Robbins. There is no place to park in the Baskin Robbins parking lot. Like, I hate this neighborhood. It is so annoying. They have tried to turn this neighborhood into a mini downtown Chicago, and there's no place to park. This is a, an area for pedestrians only, like seriously. So I can't get Baskin Robbins. And it's just irritating. Like, I just want ice cream. That's all. You ever just, like, want something? I don't need any food right now. I just want ice cream. Hey guys, um, today is Friday. Uh, yesterday, you guys saw me at Trader Joe's. Um, so I think that's the last thing that you saw. I don't believe I vlog anything else after that. Um, and I'm still editing the footage, so I gotta kind of see. But yeah, I believe Trader Joe's is the last thing that you saw. So it's the day after, it's Friday. Um, it's like Memorial Day weekend. Um, so, yeah. Brooke and I are headed to the movies for a little mom-daughter movie date. This will be her first time at the movies. So, hopefully this goes well. <laughs> and not a hot mess. Because, quite honestly, this entire morning has been a hot mess. Um, we're running a little behind schedule. The movie starts at 12 and it's 1141 right now. Um, I had every intention on getting out the door by 11. Um, one, I just wanted enough time to stop to get snacks because who wants to pay, you know, $13 for a box of Sour Patch Kids, like, I mean, it's ridiculous. So I wanted to grab us some snacks, but it doesn't look like we're gonna have time, and that's okay. Like, I already purchased my ticket um, online yesterday. So, I mean, I don't really need to buy a ticket, but yeah, I just don't wanna be like rushing. I can see if I do have time to stop, but honestly, we'll be fine. Brooke already has snacks like in her bag. So as long as she has snacks, that's okay. Um, I'll just give her her snacks. I might have some of that. And yeah, we're gonna stop and get food after the movie anyway, so I'll be fine. Um, but yeah we're headed to the movies the little mermaid comes out today the live action remake so gotta support black ariel and this is my first time at the movies since gosh when was the last time i went to a movie i think i was pregnant so maybe this isn't brooke's first time at the movies 
she went in the womb <laughs> yeah i was pregnant the last movie i saw in the movie theater was the michael myers movie um halloween the like the last halloween movie so that would have been basically halloween of 2021 so yeah that was the last time i went to a movie theater i haven't been to a movie since so I'm hoping, I'm praying this will be a pleasant experience for us both and that she doesn't like cut up or anything. So yeah, it's just been one of those mornings that's just been like such a hot mess. I feel like I was trying to get out the door by 11. I, you know, got up. I've been up since like 6 this morning before six honestly i got up i want to say i woke up about 5 45 a.m and like you know you guys know i said before that i get up early you know so i can have my time to myself for a little bit um and that's also when i do editing and stuff editing these videos for youtube so i've been up you know i got up i dropped my sister off i've it's just like everything has just been so hectic. Like for example, I went to Starbucks this morning after I dropped my sister off. I did a mobile order. You know when you order through the app and then you just walk up and pick it up at the counter. So I did that this morning. I ordered through the app and I get inside of Starbucks and I am literally standing there waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting it was like 15 20 minutes of waiting they hadn't even made my order um so yeah that was frustrating and then like trying to get ready whew, that can be a mess sometimes because my child is very active and um you know she is just active and then like i have to take her in the bathroom with me when i am like showering and stuff and she's like tearing apart the bathroom so i have to clean up i feel like i'm picking stuff up off the floor like every three seconds or so like yes i could leave it a mess but i don't want to one because we live in someone else's home so you know i try to make sure that i'm constantly cleaning up after us i mean it's not someone else's home it's my parents home it's my family's home it's my home you know that i grew up in but you know when you have your own child it's like i need my own stuff so yeah i'm constantly picking up after her and uh, i feel like this morning was just really frustrating by the time i like got myself showered and got Brooke dressed and everything it was like 10 45 so I'm like oh snap we need to get out the door so I didn't have on any makeup I did my makeup and then I am like trying to get dressed Brooke is pulling off her socks and it's just like oh my god so much I do not see how people have more than one child and how you have more than one that's like in the same age group like if I did have another one I'd need a husband but two um, like Brooke would have to be I would say she'd have to be like four or five um, probably five just kind of get her through that whole toddlerhood phase and uh, you know into age five I just don't know how people have more than one child like geez you do this and it's just a lot this can be very overwhelming I what I've noticed is overstimulation constantly overstimulated and it does kind of cause me to feel overwhelmed and I think that's what I've been dealing with like this week like you guys probably won't really notice because videos are still being posted and that's because i pre-filmed those a while ago and now they're going up um but yeah likely i'll be taking a bit of a break um from youtube stuff um yeah we have to see but yeah 
that's kind of off topic anyways Brooke and I are on our way to the movies and it's now 11 49 and we're about uh, 12 minutes away so it'll likely be after 12 once once we get there but that's fine um they're gonna just show previews the first like 15 to 20 minutes anyway so <laughs> we'll be fine um but yeah guys i will just check in with you all later i don't know if i'll be vlogging in the movie theater um but definitely after the movie theater is at the mall so i don't know if i'm shop probably not shopping at the mall honestly because your girl's on budget but um yeah uh we'll see anyway guys i will just check in with y'all later <laughs> So we left the movie before it was finished because somebody got a little antsy. She's sleepy, like this is her nap time. So I know she was gonna kinda be really antsy, but um, that's fine. There was tons of kids there. And a lot of them were antsy and just, you know, because they're kids, they can't really sit still for two and a half hours. So it's fine. What we saw of the movie was really good and super cute. Um, you know, and Black Ariel, Hallie, right? Hallie and Chloe. I think that one is Hallie Bailey. Um, but yeah, her singing was incredible from you know, the parts that we saw. Um, so yeah, I would definitely watch the whole thing when it comes out on Disney Plus in a few months because somebody interrupted it for me, but when it comes out, um, when it starts streaming, and you know, I can watch it in the comfort of my own home then that'll be cool. I gotta put Brooke in the car, so let's do that. So yeah, like I was saying, we, um, it was a cute little movie, um, but yeah, when it comes out, um, like streaming, then I'll watch it on the streaming service because, whew, child, the ghetto. Like we could have stayed, but I would have just been constantly like picking her up, putting her back down, picking her up, putting her back down. She was trying to like be on the floor. 
it was just a lot going on so yeah and i ended up getting popcorn and a drink mainly because she ran out of her cheetos that i had packed for her um that was in her little bag like 10 minutes into the movie because y'all know we was running late so we basically got there and the movie was kind of starting already so it was like one last preview that they were in the middle of and then they were basically starting the movie so she ran out of her cheetos right away so i ended up getting popcorn which she's little so she just can't like eat a whole thing of popcorn but i eat popcorn all the time so i have like broken off little pieces for her and giving it to her so that's what i did and then like she just kind of started cutting up popcorns like going everywhere it was just a mess and i was just like okay this is becoming exhausting so we just kind of left out walk them out a little bit let me roll the windows up because it should be cool enough in here now um you know we walked them all a little bit i'm talking to y'all with these sunglasses on but i can take them off we walked them out a little bit um we got pretzels so let's see if she wants you want pretzel because if you didn't know auntie ann's wait is it auntie ann's or annie's i always say annie's auntie ann's they have pretzel like a um like a rewards program um so yeah they have a rewards program so basically it's just like any other rewards programs if you make a certain amount of purchases you get free so i had my birthday pretzel for free and then i got one for free like today so yeah um, so yeah, we are going to stop by Chick-fil-A, um, because I did place a pickup order. So we're about to head to Chick-fil-A now, and I'll just check in with y'all probably when we get our food. Chick-fil-A is hiring. Yes, they are. They're hiring. You need your job. Yeah. yeah, you do. You need a job. Pay for all them diapers and stuff. Milk. Yeah, yeah uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know you sleepy. Take a nap. Yes. For Bria? For Bria. Thank you. You too. We need to go back this way and then go the opposite way. I wish they could put more chick for like, like we don't have many Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A's. Chick-fil-A's. We don't have many Chick-fil-A's here. Um, and like, it's weird cause this is a major city. <laughs> but like, we don't have a lot here. Like this Chick-fil-A is not technically in Chicago. It's in the suburb of Chicago called Chicago Ridge. Yeah, and then like in the actual city, there's a Chick-fil-A, I wanna say, like UIC which is west and then there might be a couple up north but like south area there are not many Chick-fil-A restaurants and it's weird there ain't nothing but McDonald's and then this light is like 45 minutes long fell asleep let me take these off so Brooke fell asleep so I am going to eat 
my food. The last time that I had Chick-fil-A, shortly after, I was in a whole lot of pain. So the last time I had Chick-fil-A, couldn't really enjoy it because it definitely caused my gallstones to go crazy. I wish I had my Polynesian sauce because they didn't give it to me. I know I added it. But it's still good. <clears throat> I just wish we had a Chick-fil-A that was closer. I feel like we don't have where I live. We got nothing but McDonald's. And like hood restaurants. Like it's way easier to get a McDonald's, find a McDonald's. Because I would like to have Chick-fil-A's breakfast or like try their breakfast because I watch Chelsea, um, Chelsea Janae, and she was like raving about their breakfast bowl. And there's another YouTuber I watch that she does like keto. Um, her name is Kim, um, but her channel, I think it's like all things Kim, um, but I can link, link it, but like, yeah. She also eats <clears throat> the breakfast bowl from Chick-fil-A or like was like raving about the breakfast bowl from Chick-fil-A and basically, you know, making it keto. Um, so yeah, I would like to try their like breakfast, but it's a pretty, it's not a long drive to get to Chick-fil-A from where I live, but it's kind of going out of the way. I really only go there if I'm going to the mall. Yeah, I'm just sitting here I'm eating my food in an LA fitness parking lot. Um, and I'm just gonna eat. I'm gonna let Brooke nap because she needs a nap. She just fell asleep. Um, and we're really only about maybe about 20, 23 minutes from home. So I kind of wanted to get at least like an hour nap in. So yeah, guys, I'm just gonna sit here and chill and listen to some music. And then I'll be heading home. Um, there's not much else that I'm doing today. We just kind of did the movie thing and that's it. So yeah, probably won't be vlogging anymore today. Um, but I'm sure I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, do wanna try to get a little bit of rest this weekend as well, because like I was saying earlier, it's just kind of been a really tough week for me. Um, just really kind of struggling with some things. So yeah, it might sound a little stuffy 
um, or like out of breath. That's because I am. Um, pollen is back out now. So both Brooke and I, <clears throat> our allergies are bad. So if I've been sounding stuffy, like while I've been talking, it's because I am. <laughs> um, so yeah. I just didn't want to be like sniffling and stuff while I'm on the camera. Yeah, and I don't know if I told you guys, Brooke has allergies too, seasonal allergies. Um, so yeah, he did give her allergy medicine, which I just kind of give it to her as she needs it. Um, but yeah, both of us have been like sneezing and we have like itchy, watery eyes. Um, so yeah, that's been another thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna shut up and eat my food, finish my food and listen to some music. And I'll just pick up the camera when I have something going on. <laughs> 